after studying this module you should be able to learn various stages of sleep learn the difference between slow wave sleep and REM sleep understand neural basis of awakening understand neural basis of slow wave sleep understand neural basis of REM sleep and learn mechanisms of dreams sleep is a behavior which has elaborate physiological mechanisms and it can be addressed across the entire hierarchy of biological organization sleep is investigated in a sleep laboratory the main method to investigate sleep behavior is through the recording of neural activity as revealed through electroencephalograms recorded from the scalp it is the recording of the summed up activity of neurons in the cerebral cortex besides recordings from the brain some other recordings are done to investigate the sleep behavior electromyogram is recorded from the chin and electrooculogram from the areas around the eyes to monitor the activity of muscles and eye movements it is believed that sleep is not a totally silent activity nor is it a total suspension of activity it accompanies a good autonomic arousal as well the other physiological measures recorded during sleep are heartbeat respiration skin conductance sexual arousal etc traditionally changes in the functional neuronal systems have been measured by electrophysiological techniques including eeg emg eog which are collectively termed polysomnography and is used to describe sleep brain potentials recorded from electrodes on the scalp by eeg provide a way to define describe and classify levels of arousal and states of sleep recent technological innovations such as quantitative electrophysiology the advent of neuroimaging and the ability to record the waking and sleep of subjects outside the sleep laboratory have changed picture of the neural basis of waking and sleep behavior in sleep studies eye movements and muscle tension are monitored in addition to the eeg together these measures led to the ground breaking discovery that there are two distinct classes of sleep slow wave sleep and rem sleep eeg patterns during wakefulness awake and alert when a person is awake eeg pattern consists of small amplitude waves with a fast frequency this pattern the beta rhythm is also called fast activity activated eeg or waking eeg the waves of beta rhythm have a frequency ranging from 13 to 30 hertz times per second this stage denotes alertness attentiveness and engagement in higher mental activity such as completing homework playing sport rehearsing music or watching television awake and drowsy when a person becomes drowsy the fast wave activity of the neocortex slows down and deepens concurrently the amplitude of the waves increases and the frequency of the waves becomes slower when subjects relax and close their eyes they may produce the alpha rhythm they are large regular brain waves that have a frequency ranging from 7 to 11 hertz alpha waves are slower and slightly bigger than beta waves stages of sleep as subjects enter deep sleep they produce slower wider eeg waves known as delta rhythms also known as slow wave activity delta rhythm waves a frequency of 1 to 3 hertz in humans daily cycles of wakefulness and sleep follow a circadian rhythm however within the sleep portion of this cycle another rhythm called the ultra dyne rhythm also exists it makes the fifth stage of sleep the first four stages are called the nrem sleep which is 
non-random eye movement sleep and the fifth stage is rapid eye movement sleep or the REM. It is so called because of the eye movements recorded from beneath the eyelids. It is accompanied with the beta waves. The other phase of sleep associated with the slowing of the EEG is called the slow wave sleep. One sleep cycle goes through five stages and takes about 90 minutes. Stage 1 Non-REM sleep During the transition from being awake to being asleep, one enters a restful stage called the hypnagogic state, twitches of involuntary muscles. This stage is a brief lasting about 5 minutes in most people. It can range from 30 seconds to 10 minutes. It is very light sleep from which an individual can be easily aroused. It is also called the pre-sleep stage. Alpha waves begin to be replaced by slower theta waves with higher amplitude. One's eyes roll slowly and heart and breathing rate decreases. Stage 2 it is still non REM sleep. After about 10 minutes, the individual enters an irregular pattern consisting of theta activity, sleep spindles, and K complexes. One spends about 20 minutes in this stage of sleep. Sleep spindles are short bursts of rapid brain activity of 12 to 14 hertz, which occur 2 to 5 times per minute during stage 1 to 4 of sleep. K complexes are a sudden single high wave among the theta waves. They occur about once a minute. Sometimes they occur following a sleep spindles episode but can also be triggered by environmental stimuli. As people slip further into stage 2, eyes stop rolling, muscles become further relaxed and breathing and heart rate continues to decrease. Stage 2 accounts for about 50% of the total sleep time. Stage 3 It is still continuation of non-REM sleep. This is a brief transitional stage that marks the start of deep sleep. The individual becomes less responsive to external stimuli and more difficult to awaken. Slower frequency and larger amplitude delta waves become more common. These replace theta waves and sleep spindles. They occur between 20 and 50% of the time. In this stage, eyes do not move, muscles are relaxed and heart and breathing rates continue to become slower and more regular. Stage 4 Further continuation of non-REM sleep takes place. It is the deepest sleep and it is extremely difficult to wake someone during third stage. The brain wave patterns consist of regular slow waves, large delta waves for more than 50% of the time. There is no eye movement, little if any muscle activity and heart and breathing rates are at their lowest. The EEG is most regular in this stage. While body temperature follows a circadian cycle, it drops slightly during this stage. The EEG patterns in the four stages of sleep are shown in the figure. Rapid Eye Movement or REM Sleep About 90 minutes after the initiation of sleep and 45 minutes of the onset of stage 4, there is a sudden change in EEG and other physiological recordings. Quite abruptly, the EEG displays a pattern of small amplitude, high frequency activity, similar in many waves to the pattern of an awake individual, except the eyes are darting rapidly about under their lids, the rapid eye movements. Rapid eye movement sleep is also called the paradoxical sleep because of beta activity which is indicative of an attentive and alert stage of wakefulness. Smooth waves, a special type of theta-like waves that resemble the blade of a saw may be found among these random and fast beta-like waves especially when there is a burst of rapid eye movement. REM also consists of increased activity of eye movements shown through increased EOG and highly reduced muscle activity indicated by a silent EMG. 
The active looking EEG coupled with deeply relaxed muscles is typical of the REM sleep. The other physiological mechanisms show autonomic arousal that is heightened activity of the sympathetic nervous system. REM, non-REM and slow wave sleep. Stage 1 to 4 are known as non-REM sleep. Stage 3 and 4 are known as the slow wave sleep because of the delta activity. It is also accompanied by high amplitude. Stage 4 is the period of deepest sleep when an individual cannot be easily aroused. If awakened during REM, the individual reports that he had been dreaming. The dreams have a narrative quality and a story-like progression. The total sleep during the night alternates between REM and non-REM sleep, the total cycles lasting about 90 minutes. The REM consists of about 20 to 30 minutes in each cycle. A period of slow wave sleep must precede each bout of REM sleep. Difference between slow wave and REM sleep The difference between slow wave and REM sleep can be described under various dimensions. According to Breedlove et al. 2007, the autonomic activities like heart rate, respiration, thermoregulation, brain temperature and cerebral blood flow slow down in slow wave sleep whereas they become more variable and get raised in the REM sleep. Under the musculoskeletal system, the postural tension and phasic twitches are reduced in slow wave sleep. In REM sleep, the postural tension is eliminated and the phasic twitches are increased. Knee jerk reflex is normal in slow wave sleep but it is suppressed in the REM sleep. Secretion of growth hormone is high in the slow wave sleep but low in the REM sleep. Further, during slow wave sleep, the cognitive state consists of vague thoughts, neural firing rates in the cerebral cortex are more phasic with fewer cells involved and the sensory invoked event related potentials are large. In the REM sleep, on the other hand, the cognitive state is contains vivid dreams, neural firing rates are increased and even related potentials are reduced. Thus, an individual undergoes very different states in the different stages of sleep. Neural control of arousal. The brain stem reticular formation is the seat of arousal. Stimulation of this area leads to arousal in an animal. From medulla through thalamus and right up to the level of the cerebral cortex, the sensory fibers ascend and project the information. It leads to widespread arousal. Conversely, causing extirpation of the area leads to total absence or reduction in the levels of arousal. Projection takes place via two pathways. The dorsal pathway is via a medial nuclei of thalamus to cerebral cortex and ventral pathway is via lateral hypothalamus, basal ganglia and the forebrain from where it is projected to all areas of the cerebral cortex. Neural control of the slow wave sleep. Some of the earlier studies of sleep indicated that a system in the forebrain promotes slow wave sleep. Using isolated forebrain method, Bremer found that the EEG from the brain in front of the cut displayed constant slow wave sleep with no indications of wakefulness or REM sleep. This shows that the forebrain alone can generate slow wave sleep without contribution from the lower brain regions. The major area involved in the ventrolateral pre-optic area located rostral to the diencephalic structure hypothalamus. It is a part of the basal forebrain. Temperature and the slow wave sleep. Drowsiness on a hot day and sleepiness accompanying fever indicates some relationship between sleep and temperature. 
Some structures in the forebrain are connected to the thermosensors located in the skin. Warning of this region and posterior hypothalamus induces slow wave sleep in the animal. Neural control of REM sleep The first indication of REM sleep is the PGO waves. These are brief phasic bursts of electrical activity. They originate in the pons. That is why the position of pons is shown as first in the so-called PGO waves. They are then transmitted to the lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus and then projected to the occipital cortex primary areas. After appearance of the PGO waves, the EEG becomes desynchronized. It almost coincides with the cessation of muscular tension. Commencement of the REM sleep follows with rapid eye movements. The major area involved in the REM sleep is the group of neurons in the dorsal pons. Several experiments indicated that a region of the pons is important for REM sleep. Electrical stimulation of the regions just ventral to the locus querulus abolish REM sleep or pharmacological stimulation of this region with cholinergic agonists and induce or prolong REM sleep. Finally, some neurons in this region seem to be active only during REM sleep. So the pons has a REM sleep center near the locus querulus. This shows that raphe nuclei and the locus querulus are also sensitive to the cycles of REM sleep and are therefore involved in producing REM sleep. The area crucial to the production of REM sleep, the medial pontine reticular formation MPRF has been referred to as the nucleus reticularis pontus oralis RPO by some investigators whereas others refer to it as the gigantocellular tegmental field or the FTG. Lesion of MPRF is related with reduction or disappearance of REM sleep. Neurons from these regions project to the basal forebrain which produces arousal and desynchrony during REM sleep. The PGO waves are controlled by the lateral geniculate nucleus which receives projection from peribrachial area. The latter also projects to the tectum through which the rapid eye movements are produced. Muscular Paralysis During REM Sleep Studies on cerebral blood circulation have indicated an increased flow towards the occipital and a decreased one towards the lower prefrontal cortex during REM. It coincides with the fact that during REM, visual images are strong while planning and organizing activities are at the lowest ebb. A narration of dreams if awakened during REM contains a story-like description of images without involving any logic about them. The eye movements produced during this state are similar to those produced when an actual scene is scanned in wakefulness. An important question that still needs to be answered is how does muscular paralysis take place in the state of sleep? When the place just below the peribrachial area of the pons is lesioned, the muscles fail to paralyze during REM sleep. This place is the subcorular region of the pons. Axons from this region travel cordially to the magnocellular nucleus located on the medial medulla which in turn sends axons to the spinal cord. These axons are inhibitory. They act on the motor neurons and cause muscular paralysis during this state of sleep. During REM sleep, the inhibitory transmitters GABA and glycine produce powerful inhibitory postsynaptic potentials in spinal motor neurons, preventing them from reaching thresholds and producing an action potential. Thus, in REM stage, muscles are not just relaxed but flaccid. This loss of muscle tone during REM sleep can be abolished 
by small lesions that damage only a part of the REM center suggesting that this sub region is what normally disables the motor system during REM. Dreams Electroencephalogram is the main method to study various stages of sleep. There are major EEG changes during the rapid eye movement sleep. If asked what kinds of dreams the individuals were having, descriptions involving imagery are recorded. There are images of events happening where seeing, hearing and even touching are felt. Dreams of the non-rapid eye movement stage are of the thinking type rather than those of imagery and those of events happening. Almost everyone has terrifying dreams on occasion. Nightmares are defined as long frightening dreams that awaken the dreamer from REM sleep. They are occasionally confused with night terror which is a sudden arousal from stage 3 slow wave sleep marked by intense fear and autonomic activation. In night terror the sleeper does not recall a vivid dream but may remember a sense of a crushing feeling on the chest as though being suffocated. Night terrors are extremely frightening episodes where a person wakes often shrieking in sheer terror. Although the person is sweating with rapid heart and breathing rates, he has no recall of dreaming and often falls asleep again very quickly. Night terrors are common in children during the early part of an evening sleep. Many medications including antidepressants and drugs that control blood pressure make nightmares more frequent but nightmares are quite common even without such influences. Dreams have been reported to occur during the REM state. However, other states of sleep are not totally devoid of them. Significant difference exists between dreams in various stages of sleep. Dreams during REM sleep are characterized by vivid visual imagery, whereas those in the non-REM sleep are of the thinking type. In REM sleep, the dreamer is normally present in the scene and the dream goes like a story. That is a continuation of events, whereas dreams of non-REM sleep are static. Night terror is a sudden arousal from the stage 3 or 4 of the slow wave sleep and is accompanied with intense fear and autonomic arousal. The dreamer has the feeling of being suffocated and crushed. He is confused, groggy and disoriented. The states of deep sleep as happens in stage 3 and 4, the individual is very low on arousal and therefore a sudden transition to a state of arousal produces fear and disorientation. Summary Sleep behavior is measured by electroencephalogram EEG, electromyogram EMG, electrooculogram EOG and certain autonomic functions. Alpha and beta waves characterize waking states whereas theta and delta waves are obtained during sleep. Stage 1 and 2 of sleep have theta and stage 3 and 4 have delta waves. REM sleep has special features of PGO waves, cortical dyssynchrony, active EOG and silent EMG which is reversed in the case of slow wave sleep during stage 3 and 4 of sleep. During the rapid eye movements, the individual reports having dreams which are narrative in character. Awakened from slow wave sleep, the person shows grogginess and reports static dreams. The seat of wakefulness and arousal is the reticular formation system of the brain. The ventrolateral preoptic area, VLPA, part of the basal forebrain, controls slow wave sleep. The PGO waves originate in the bones, lateral geniculate nucleus of thalamus and the occipital cortex. They cause EEG dyssynchrony. Rapid nuclei, locus coriolis and the peribrachial areas are involved in the REM sleep. Subcoriolar regions, magnocellular nucleus on medulla and the spinal cord are involved in the muscular paralysis during REM sleep.